Hello, this is Hamid and in this session I'm gonna teach you how to set up the destination NAT in Palo Alto Firewall. As you can see that in this diagram we have a Kali Linux outside and in untrusted zone and the IP address is 10.10.10.2 and it's connected to Ethernet 1 slash 1 of the firewall with the IP address of 10 10 10 1 So uh, this zone is untrusted zone and is outside zone And here we have a WordPress in our trusted zone with the IP address of 192.168.10.100 And I have a management uh, machine that uh, you can uh, configure the firewall from this management machine. So I've already set the IP address on the Ethernet and what I'm gonna do now because uh, we're gonna have a kind of destination net from the outside to uh, WordPress and anyone is trying to reach 10 10 10 1 should reach to the WordPress so uh, the first step is to create two objects one of them is going to be the outside interface of the Palo Alto and the other one is the WordPress object so here in Kali Linux I go to objects and uh, in the address of object I can define two objects uh, one of them is outside firewall interface so here the outside firewall interface is 10 10 10 1 and click ok the other one is the wordpress so the ip address is one nine two one six eight ten hundred and the next step is to create the NAT so I go here in a NAT policy I create the NAT because this one is the destination NAT is a little different so I call it WordPress NAT and the original packet is coming from the untrusted zone so if you look at the again the diagram here is untrusted here is trusted zone so again here source zone is untrusted um, the the only difference between the source and destination NAT is that when you're doing a destination NAT your source and the destination is going to be from here to here uh, you shouldn't assume from Kali Linux to WordPress because first of all in the first phase firewall translate this IP address to um, outside interface of the firewall and then it goes the traffic it passed through the firewall and reached the WordPress so what I'm gonna do now I will say that the traffic is from the source zone to the destination zone again untrusted and here the destination address is gonna be the outside interface of the firewall so uh, again let me explain it in the diagram the traffic it comes from the Kali Linux from this sound it reaches to the outside firewall interface and now now in the translated packet we are saying that we, we're gonna have a, a dynamic session and here we have a WordPress to, because the 
IP address is translated to the IP address of the WordPress and the port and the translated port because the web server is port 80 you just write here 80 something that uh, you can uh, define in original packet sometimes uh, the user enter like here like 10 10 10 1 port number 80 80 and port number 80 80 is translated to 80 so if you have this kind of a scenario you should have the service like 80 80 here but in this case because I only have the 80 to 80 so port 80 is translated to port 80 so I can just have the service 80 here so I click OK for the NAT this part is for the NAT and for the security I add a new security here security policy and call it policy uh, WordPress policy or press or just I write the WordPress because it's clear in my network and the traffic is coming from untrusted uh, to trusted zone uh, you can have a specific application but in this case I just uh, allow the traffic from untrusted to trusted zone so I commit this configuration now uh, I will go to Kali the other Kali that we have here and just I type 10 10 10 1 10 10 10 1 perfect now I reach the web server and this is my WordPress so the only difference between the uh, source net and the destination net is that for the destination net here when you're trying to write the net you should be careful about the source net and the destination net because as I told you the traffic it passed to the outside firewall outside interface of the firewall and then translated to um, to reach the WordPress so this this is gonna be a destination net I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching